sitting here in my office with the Democrats, the Nancy Pelosi health care plan, as you can see, 1,990 pages versus the Republican plan, a little over 200 pages, and I think that this is, clearly demonstrates uh, what is going to happen uh, to the size of government uh, and the, the government-run health care plan that they're proposing. It's going it's to balloon the, uh, the deficit. Uh, it's going to cost uh, well over a trillion. My guess is it will be two trillion before it's all said and done. So again, when you put a piece of legislation this massive together and try to take over one-sixth of the U.S. economy, uh, the government to run one-sixth of the U.S. economy, uh, this is what you get. Uh, the, the Republican alternative is, is about less government. It's about more choices for people in making their, I mean, making their decisions on health care. Uh, it's about keeping it in the private sector. It's a, this, this bill, our bill, the Republican bill, is uh, about fixing what's broken and keeping what's good in the plan. People like in America, their health care, 85% of them are covered with health care, and uh, of that, the vast majority are happy with their health care. And that's what the Republican plan will do, is people will be able to continue to be on the health care plans uh, if they're happy with them, and make choices to, to get a lower cost, uh, higher quality health care plan if they so choose. And that's what it's all about, the American people having freedom to choose.